welcome back to my film and TV channel and we're going over to Amazon today to watch a film. I'm not too sure when this was made, it's fairly recent but um, stumbled across it. I thought we'd have a look at it because it was getting uh, a bit mixed reviews but it, yeah, it seemed to have potential to me when I read the synopsis. We're going to look at something called Shattered, please if you are new to the channel please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It's great to have you on board, I do film reviews, TV drama reviews, information blogs. All things film and TV, so leave us your comments as well about this or anything to do with film and TV, doesn't matter what, what it's about. Uh, yep, yeah, and please, if you can push that uh, subscribe button and notification button, and also give us that like as well. If you can give us a like, uh, make an old film and TV watcher very, very happy. It's uh, an 18 certificate, yeah, prob probably, yeah, okay, probably more of 15 for me. 92 minutes, directed by Louis. Pareto and written by David Luffrey. It stars Cameron Monaghan, Frank Grillo, Lily Krug and John Malkovich. Yes, um, potential. John Gart Malkovich. Yeah, you don't, don't know what quite what to expect with the films that that guy stars in. He's not a big part in this, but uh, he's there. We'll talk about him, but no doubt he'll crop up while we talk about it. This is about Chris, a rich divorcee who actually falls in love with the mysterious woman Sky. Only to find himself, his ex-wife and their child trapped. A desperate fight for survival ensues. Yeah, well, it's, it's a little bit later in the film, but uh, yeah, it's, there's enough going on early doors anyway. Is it any good? Well, the public don't like it. 23% uh, positivity on Rotten Tomatoes. That's not great, is it? Just 2.2 2 out of 5. That's 4.4 4 out of 10. Internet Movie Database, a little bit better. Oh, almost three and a half thousand scores and reviews, just five out of ten. So halfway there. I mean, halfway is okay. That's livable. Twelve hundred and seventy people scored between six and nine, which is a nice chunk, and seventeen hundred people scored it between two and five. So it wasn't overly liked. And if you look at positivity ratio, if you look at that those, those scores, it's only forty three percent positivity, even though it's getting a five out of ten. So there's a few people give it a, a ten out of ten, which probably skewed the figures a little bit. What about the critics? Well, the public don't like it. What about the critics? Well, they don't really like it either. Uh, I'm a little bit, I, I'm not saying I love it, but I think they've been a bit harsh with this one. Rotten Tomatoes, only 19% of 36 critics were positive, an average of just 3.8 out of 10. That's pretty pathetic, isn't it? Seven fresh, all right, seven fresh, and 29 rotten. So uh, a bit in the, a bit in the uh, rotten camp. Christy Lemire is fresh, though. She's from the film week, KPCC, MPR, LA. I'm sure you know what that is if you're over there. A knowingly cheesy B-movie. It is decent trash. Well, that, that can be a positive, and it is a positive. Rotten include people like Matt Zoller Sites from RogerEbert.com. Is a machine that prom shattered is a machine that promises to fulfil certain functions. Unfortunately, the craftsmanship is lacking. Just a big movie, guys. It's not, it's not a big budget movie. Richard Whittaker from the Austin Chronicle, he didn't like it much either. He said the smooth, crotched, erotic thriller equivalent of banging a G.I. Joe and a Barbie together. Very harsh. I don't know, I don't know what this, the people who've done this film have, have done to these people. Metacritic equally, equally as unhappy. 27 out of 100. That's just six critics, though. And it scored anywhere from 16 out of 100 to... Well, the highest was 40, so not great. Well, what was the highest? Well, that was LA Times' Noel Murray. He gave it 40. He said, although Shattered is a relatively short movie, an hour and a half, it takes too long for Preto and Luffrey to put all of his pieces into play. Well, I can see his principle. I mean, the, the introduction of the, of the sort of family comes a little bit late into it, innit? which I can understand. But uh, there's still, still bits and pieces going on before that. So it takes a little bit, uh, Prieto and Luffy to put all these pieces into play, at which point the story belatedly does develop some tension. I thought it was all right all the way through. I mean, there's hints of a lot of different things. It's a home invasion thing, of course, and these uh, that sort of standard. But, uh, yeah, um, they say the family element, the, the sort of the danger, if you like, does come a bit late in the film. But there's enough going on, enough going on before that. I'm going to give this, my little thoughts, I'm going to give it 5 out of 10 as well. All right, I'm not going to give it a rave score, but I think these score, these low scores are a bit unfair because it's just a simple turn your brain off watch and that's all it is. And I, you, know, you have to do that and watch this while you're doing something on your phone or doing something in the background. It's okay, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. 
it's, it's, it's just a B movie. It's a straight to streaming movie, and as such, I found it okay. I like the Lily Crew character very much. Uh, she made a decent body in this. I thought she was very good. Uh, some people saying the acting was a little bit wooden, but I just thought she was okay. All right, Malkovich's character obviously attempts to add a bit of humour, but it just turns out to be a little bit sad in all fairness, so not his greatest work. Don't expect much, and you might enjoy it more. There are lots worse out there on, on Amazon. There's certainly a lot worse on Amazon, certainly a lot worse on, on Netflix. So I thought it was okay. I thought it was all right for a just throw away watch, and that's what it is. Five out of ten from me. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, as I say, I'm not going to... I say I didn't expect much, I didn't get much, so I was reasonably happy. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, please. Until we meet again, and that's one thing, don't I? Stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.